Hello everyone and welcome to Coding with T. I'm gonna make a series of video tutorials on complete mobile cameras app in Flutter. Stay with me and let's get started. This is my first video and in this video I will be developing splash screen for my application. And you can see that this is a completely new project and nothing special is added in this project. Only uh, assets files are added. Assets files mean Google fonts and HTML files and icons and images. You can also add these images and icons by simply drag and drop method. And I also have uh, added some configurations in PubSpec XML file. You can see that we have to define the images folder like that so that our images should be accessible in our page or wherever we want to use the images. And uh, now let's start building our uh, splice screen. So move to widgets folder and inside this widget folder there is a common folder. You can see that this common folder is entirely empty and nothing is inside this. Now to build a splice screen create a new dart file and name it as splash screen dot dart. Oh, here you can see that a new blank screen is created. Now add material dot dart file so that all of your widgets should be accessible in your screen. I'm importing this material dot dart file. And as you can see this imported now create the stateful widget and name it as splash screen always try to use the camel notation in naming your classes or your variables this is a recommended approach by the dart here you can see that this build method is returning a container but instead of returning this container you should return a scaffold so that a white screen should be provided to you for developing your application. Inside this scaffold, you have to add body. You cannot uh, add app bar here because uh, we don't need app bar in our splash screen. Uh, inside this uh, this body, return a center widget, and so that all our widgets should be in uh, center in screen. So. Onward now, I will be moving fast forward so that with you should not exceed the specific size. I will do some coding and uh, just don't worry, I will let you guys know about what I have done so far. Okay guys, I have done a little bit coding and I'm gonna explain it to you what I have done so far. This first of all you can see with keyword. This with keeper reflects that we are going to use the properties of another class and in this case we will be using the properties of single ticker provider and we will be using the, these properties for our animation property. In, while moving inside we, we can see that the first function is init state. This is the first function which is triggered whenever the flutter runs the screen. The purpose of this init state is to initialize the things. Inside this init state, we have timer and timer have duration and the duration have 4 seconds. The 4 second duration means our splash screen will be shown to the user for the 4 seconds. And after the 4 seconds, the body of this function will be executed. And the body of this function is saying to navigate to user to home screen. It means that after four, after the four seconds, the user will see the home screen. Splash screen will be vanished, and the home screen will be visible visible to user. And after that, we have animation controller. As I said, we will be uh, using some animation. So to control those animations, we have animation controller, and we have animation controller widget. And inside that animated controller, we have duration. This duration is set to 2 seconds. This is the basic duration of our uh, this is the duration of our animation. This is not the duration of our splash screen. This is the duration of our animation. And the very next, next line is vsync this. Vsync ensures that 
cutter should not render the animation until the screen is displayed. Next thing is animation and we have defined the animation controller for our this animation. We have two types of animation, left to right animation and right to left animation. These two types of animation will be used for the text to move the text from left to right and right to left. This will be our animation. And if we deeply see the left to right animation, we will have begin points, begin coordinates and end coordinates. Begin coordinates, inside this uh, begin coordinates we have offset and offset have two values. These values are x and y values, mean coordinates. And this will be the x coordinate and this will be the y coordinate. 0, 0 mean the center of the screen and uh, negative values mean left of the screen and positive values mean right of the screen. Offset 0 means the center of the screen. After setting the offset to 0, we are calling the animate function to our animation and we are using the curved, curved animation and we are assigning the controller. This controller which was defined earlier is now we are assigning to this animation and this is the curve we are defining here the type of our curve we will be using. We have different types of curve as you can see that is in, is bounce in, out, bounce in, etc. You can see a lot of animation types are available. Next we have right to left animation and this animation is almost similar to left to right animation. The only difference is begin and end coordinates. End coordinates are both same because we are ending the both left to right and right to left at the center of screen but the difference is start point and left to right animation is starting from this point and right to left animation is starting at this point. After this animate function, we have dispose function and this function is called whenever a screen is terminating or ending and on the end of the screen, we are uh, disposing the controller. And now we will be uh, discussing about the user interface on the splice screen. So this is our all the coding about user interface. So let's start about the user interface. First of all, we have scaffold and inside this scaffold we have sander widget and inside this sander widget we have column. We have used column because we want an image and the text in vertical direction. So we, we have to use the column widget to align them in vertical. If, you, if we want something in horizontal then we could use the row. And this is the main axis size set to the maximum and this is the main axis alignment to center. Main axis alignment center means our widget should be uh, displayed to the center of the screen. Next we have the asset image and the first part of this asset image is the path of the image. And then we are we will be providing the width and height of the image. After that image asset image we are using the row. Row is basically used when we want to align certain widgets in the horizontal direction and we are uh, using two text to, and we want to align them in horizontal here you can see that we have slight transition inside this slight transition the first one is left to right animation and the second one is right to left animation it simply means that the text inside this text widget that is mobile cameras will be animated from left to right and the text inside this widget that is app by flutter will be animated from right to left that's all we have in our coding section and now it's time to test our app what we have done so far to test your application connect your mobile phone with your laptop using data cable and when you see your mobile visible here you can click on display button to run your app but before running your app just go to the main dot dot file and conduct some changes instead of this my app 
use splash screen and remove all these codes up to here up to here now you can run your application initially it takes time but just turn to me give the time how much it wants <clears throat> Here you can see our app ran successfully and see what animation working or not. Yeah, as you can see, the text is moving from left to right and right to left. So this was our splash screen tutorial. Thank you so much.